About six years ago, a friend of mine gave me his old welder. Well, I think he'd actually been given it, but it didn't work. It needed a little bit of fixing. So that welder's the one I've used for the last six years. So the problem it had, there was two problems. One was a wire speed problem, and two was a problem with the uh, wire feed. So I kind of fiddled it and bodged it to get it working to start with, so I could start using it. And then I decided I wanted to do some modifications. So I did a couple of repairs and modifications not long after I got it, and I made videos of in, I think, 2017 or 2018. And I've had a couple of questions on those videos these last few weeks, so I was gonna do a little short just to answer those guys' questions, but instead, I'm making this video, and I'm gonna go through the mods that I made and give a little bit more information about the welder to see if I can help anybody out. So the machine in question's under the bench, I'm gonna pull it out now. It's a Sabora 130, which I've never heard of the brand before, but uh, there seems to be a few of our, it's a, what is it called? Pocket MIG 130, I don't know, something like that. I'll show you the label on the end. So what I did was, I wanted to run big gas bottles that I've got on the floor down here um, and I wanted to have a Euro torch because then I could have a much longer lance, you can have a, a light trigger instead of having a gas valve in the trigger and uh, a, a few more options for new tips and all the rest of it so that's what I wanted to do so I set about doing it, I didn't do it particularly neatly I don't think but I made it work and one of the modifications I had to do was fit a gas valve um, separate to what was already in the trigger so taking away the old trigger assembly it would have the gas fed from one of those little small size bottles it would feed through the hose all the way through the um, lance and to a valve with, that was in the trigger so you press the trigger and that released the gas so it didn't even have to be powered up for the gas to release which made it quite easy to accidentally lose all your gas so converted to the euro torch it meant that the trigger is just a switch that activates the machine and opens a gas valve. So I'll show you all of that anyway. So right, you'll have to excuse me with the camera angles. It's a little bit awkward to get in and see. So as you can see there, that's the gas valve I fitted. It's a 230 volt valve that operates when the trigger is pulled. Um, so for the hose, that's just a hose ran from one side of the valve through the back of the machine that goes around there, which goes to, let me see if I can find it, this regulator, and which is a flow and bottle pressure and flow. They're a bit busted up. They were just cheap ones off eBay, as was the uh, gas valve. Um, so then the Euro torch, you've got one wire passes through, you've got two wires in the Euro torch, and I think this was um, a chap called Byron Davenport's question. So the two wires, one goes onto the body of the um, uh, wire feed portion, and then this one goes through to the other side, which I'll have to just undo the screws on to see where I connected that to. And the two wires for the gas valve, they just go through up here, through to the other side, so I'll pull the other side off and we can have a look. Just before we pop to the side, I failed to mention, you've got this hose with the gas valve going to, which goes down there to the gas valve, and then the hose comes from the gas valve up there into the back of the Euro torch assembly, as you can see just there. Right then, with the other side cover off, um, you can see this blue wire, that's the one that goes to the Euro torch. That just comes around and with a small spade connector goes onto that board there. That is the connection where the original um, wire came off on the original um, lance. So you can see that's the nearest this side, nearest this side, small spade connector. Is it a 2.8 mil spade? I think they, they are. So then the gas valve wires come in here. See those two? 
we've got one wire goes to this side of this contactor there and the other one goes i don't know if you can see let me see if we can just see that black wire that comes down here right i'll just try and a quick bit of video with my phone you can see that wire going onto the bottom of that contactor there right in the middle of the shot that black white loops up that's the one that's the other side of the gas valve and then the other top side of the gas valve is that one there so either side of that contactor so then that gives 230 volts power to the gas valve when you press the trigger this contactor's sending power when you press the trigger i'll um, i'll try my best to uh, add some photos in i'll see if i can get my phone just down in the side of that contactor to show you uh, a little bit better or we'll see what I can do to get get at that contact a little bit more because it's hard to see there really but it, it's pretty straightforward uh, it took me a little bit of time what I did was with the device powered up I connected the switch up first and then spent some time with the multimeter working out what goes live when you uh, when you press press the trigger and that seems to do the job so I just mounted that little gas valve on the back of the box there. Um, could be internal, could be external. I'd put it internally because of the, the power going through it. I think um, once you see how I've wired it up, I think you'll agree it's pretty straightforward. And swapping over to that Euro torch makes, makes a world of difference to how the welder feels. Um, I'll show you the trigger in a moment, but just having that um, really light trigger feeling is uh is fantastic it just makes it such a nicer much, such a much nicer machine to use altogether um, because you're not you're not trying to press the gas valve in it's a bit of a battered old welder but it still works i would like a nice new one something a bit better but while well, it still welds stuff what's the point really what is the point i do want to change the liner on my torch because that's starting to feel a little bit I've got to have the I've got to have the lamps all laid out nice and neatly and properly for the wire to sort of run through easily. Otherwise, um, it starts I'll start having problems with it slowing down and whatnot. So I do need to do that. I also on this machine I also changed the earth clamp to something more substantial. The one that came with it wasn't very good. The only downside to this earth clamp is it's really hard to press. So the Euro torch I got was just a, a cheap generic thing off eBay. Um, it's been on there, like I say, for about six years now. And although the tips are a bit scruffy. Let's try and focus on it. There we go. Tips are a bit scruffy looking and the shroud's not in best condition. There we go, but uh, it'll do. I just got interrupted by a child. So yeah, this torch, they're really good because the trigger is just such a light sort of press. You're not pressing a gas valve anymore. It's um, much, hold on. Yeah, you just sort of, just a real light, gentle touch on it. You're not, you're not pressing a long, uh, you're not pressing a gas valve in, so. You can, you know, when you get in them awkward positions and you just need to do that, or you need to just press it with the edge of your finger or whatever. Uh, when you've got big thick gloves on, it makes that operation much easier. So, pretty pleased I've done the Euro Torch. Hopefully, that's answered all of those questions I had about the uh, about the welder. Um, if there's any others, any other questions, just stick them in the uh, comments below, and I'll see if I can make another video about it. But I think I've pretty much covered all of the uh, details of how I've modified this welder. So there's probably not something that a lot of people have watched, but I really hope it's answered the questions and uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.